Good day, everyone. This is Charles Mundy with Exodus Logistics Dispatching and Training and Consulting Platform. Um, coming to you again with another recording. Um, this recording is going to be um, based off of the um, Dispatcher 101 ebook explain. I'm probably going to start the first uh, one, the intro. What is dispatching? What makes it legal? Things like that. What is? Um, so let me. Um, we're at the home page here. www.exodusdispatchingandtraining.com. Um, click the home page, and then since this is part of the training platform, most of the videos are going to be training related. Um, so we'll go down to Dispatcher 101 ebook explained. You click that. I have not initially signed in, so let me log in to the platform, to the training portion of this platform. Um, <coughs> and get started with that. Okay. And I believe my screens are shared. So under here, under Dispatching 101, ebook explain, I'm going to touch on the first bullet point, um, number one, introduction to dispatching. Um, what is dispatching? Is it legal? And do you need a um, an authority to uh, an MC authority to dispatch? So what is dispatching? Let's do that. Well, first, let me do the introduction. Um, introduction will entail just basically um, just saying, welcome to the platform. Uh, this ebook, uh, Dispatcher 101 ebook, uh, is talking about inter introduction to um, dispatching, talking about how to find carriers, um, just an overview and a table of contents, um, how calling carriers, uh, the dispatcher agreement, low search profile, finding loads for your carriers under dispatch agreement, um, uh, you find a load, now what, booking the load, and things like that, invoicing. So um, that's the introduction. That's what we'll cover. Um, but this first video is going to be a short one about the introduction to dispatching itself. So uh, what is dispatching? What do you think um, dispatching is? Um, in your opinion, do you just say, okay, um, am I a dispatcher for a company or am I an independent dispatcher? The question is, what type of dispatching? Do you dispatching like 911 dispatcher? Do you do freight dispatching? What do you think it is? So let's um let's go out to Google. Let's do let's do a Google search for what is dispatching. So. And it gives us several um, several um, answers, um, but um, the one that we are looking for has to do with freight dispatching. So let's tweak this definition for ourselves. What is freight dispatching? Uh, so becoming a freight dispatchers are employed by trucking companies to coordinate shipping operations with drivers, suppliers, and receiving customers. Uh, may work with company drivers or may coordinate with other carriers to find the available drivers to cover loads of freight. And then there's other um, definitions. But the gist of the, um, the Google definition as it relates to us, because we are independent uh, dispatchers. So what we do, we work for ourselves. We work from home. Uh, we are our own bosses. Um, we uh, set our own hours. We uh, don't have to worry about anything like that. You work for yourself, so you have uh, other responsibilities. You do not work for a company, so you are um, pretty much doing it by yourself unless you have people under you. But your job as an independent dispatcher is to contract with the owner operators of the different equipment types, be it the dry vans, the flatbeds, or the reefers. Um, set up some kind of agreement with them and then go out and find loads for them, book the loads for them, and move those loads, have them move those loads, and then you invoice them, and you get paid for that service. That is the service you provide. Now, that's an overview um, high-level definition, 
within that definition, there's a lot of things to be done in that. And uh, throughout the course of these video presentations, uh, we will cover and talk about the specifics of that high level um, glossed old definition of what it is to be a um, independent uh, freight dispatcher. So, um, but overall, you just um, you work for yourself. You pretty much find the carriers, get them to sign up to the agreement, move, uh, find the loads, book the loads, have them move it, and then um, invoice the carrier and get paid from that. So that is the what is dispatching. Um, we can also let's navigate out to my ebook area and actually read what dispatching is according to the specific ebook uh, that I wrote about it. So here it is, introduction, and then, um, go from there. So what is dispatching? Okay. Um, what exactly is dispatching? A dispatcher is a person who is hired, contracted to assist truck drivers or carriers in finding loads, freight, commodities, etc., to haul from one location or the origin, the shipping location, to another location, which is the destination. A dispatcher communicates between a broker, a freight broker, and or a direct shipper and the carrier. Um, the dispatcher is the agent of the carrier. We work under the carrier, assuming that it is an independent dispatcher, which we are. Um, there are cases where companies have their own dispatchers that work work within the organization. We are not part of those cases. We are independent. Um, here it says they are not independent, and these dispatchers give give loads generally to company drivers who are leased onto the company. Um, the goal of the independent dispatcher is to try to sign carriers on to them with a dispatcher or carrier agreement in order to search for and book freight for them. Cold calling is one of the most effective ways of doing this. Um, it involves calling a carrier and pitching your service to them in such a way that would that they would want you to dispatch loads on their behalf. Um, a lot of carriers do need dispatchers out there because um, most more importantly, they don't have the time to do it. Um, our motto or the moniker that we use a lot is how much money do you need to move your truck? Most owner operators typically don't hear that statement and when they do, they pretty much ask about um, ask what it's what is it about? So um, so how much money you need to move your truck is a good way to start the conversation along with asking them what their needs are, such as their CPM, which is cents per mile, their drive radius, um, and the states they would or would not um, want to run in. So that answers that question under the um, what is dispatching portion. Now, is it legal and do you need an authority? You don't need an authority to be a dispatcher. I mean, if you have one, it's fine. It, um, it's, it's just icing on the cake. What legal is the what makes it legal is the contract between you and the carrier. You become the bona fide agent. And then there's also a reference, according to the ebook, um, the CFR 49371.2 uh, um, is a reference. But um, dispatchers are considered an extension or agents of the carriers they, that they are contracted with and not brokers. Um, and a, an MC authority is not required to be an independent dispatcher. Uh, you are certainly allowed and welcome to obtain an MC authority, but it is not recommended to be um, an independent dispatcher. Um, and then the the legal reference um, is here in in the um, in the ebook. You can reference that uh, 371, that 91, uh, that that's uh, 49 CFR um, of the U.S. Code, 49 CFR. And then the section is 371.2, um, and it goes into detail about brokers, bona fide agents, which um, um, which is what independent dispatchers are, bona fide agents. Um, so let's read here. Broker means a person who, for compensation, arranges or offers to arrange the transportation of property by an authorized motor carrier. Um, motor carriers or persons who are employees or bona fide motor carriers, independent dispatchers, 
uh, are not brokers within the meaning of this section when they arrange to off or offer to arrange the transportation of shipments which they are authorized to transport and which they have accepted and legally bound themselves to transport. So now, bona fide agents that we come in at are persons who are part of the normal operation of a motor carrier and perform duties under the motor carrier's directions pursuant to a pre-existing um, pre-existing agreement, which is the dispatch agreement in our case, which provide for a continuing relationship precluding the exercise of discretion on the part of the agent in allocating traffic uh, between the carrier and others. So I know that's a lot of legal jargon, but essentially what that is saying is um, as long as you have that dispatcher agreement with the uh, carrier, then you are legal. If you go over the dispatcher agreement, um, we can see that, uh, let's, let's bring one up here. Let's bring mine up. The verbiage makes it legal. Um, I, whoever the carrier is, and given their MC and DOT and things like that, um, hereby grant authorization to, and then the highlighted name is the name of the independent dispatcher or the bona fide agent, to act as my agent solely for the purpose of searching for and booking shipments, processing all brokerage paperwork, and obtaining certificates of insurance as required in order to expedite shipments and dispatch via telephone, fax, email for my truck with whatever number that is, uh, the tractor, the trailer numbers, license place in the state of wherever they operate. So um, that is the, um, that's what makes it legal. The carrier is giving authorization to you as an independent dispatcher, making you his or her bona fide agent and allowing you to book loads on their behalf. So. Um, there you have it, uh, short and sweet. Um, and then some dispatch agreements have other terms and conditions in it, um, such all billing, invoicing, and collections of revenue from customers, brokers, shippers, consignees, etc., are the sole responsibility of the carrier. That protects you. Let the carrier deal with getting the monies from the brokers and shippers or through their factoring company, and then once they get paid, especially if you're on the national dispatching network, once they get paid, then you invoice the carrier and you know move on to the next load for them or another carrier. And then, if revenue for a shipment or shipments is uncollectible, um, you as an independent dispatcher will be held harmless, and no penalty or deducting du deduction of fees will be made. So you are being eliminated from responsibility if the broker or shipper does not pay the carrier. And then the next sentence is just saying. The next sentence here is just saying that the carriers need to maintain all their proper licenses and permits to keep that up to date, general liability insurance, things of that nature. Um, and then that's here. And then the last sentence is the independent dispatcher um, will be held harmless harmless for anyone who has a claim against the, uh, the carrier for like damage freight, loss of freight, or getting out of a load without completing it, stuff like that. So there you have it. Um, introduction, what is dispatching, uh, is it legal or, and do you need an MC authority? I think those are the basic questions that would need to be answered in this first part of the um, Dispatcher 101 ebook explained this first video, introduction to dispatching. Uh, we covered what is dispatching and is it legal. So um, the next video series under Dispatcher 101 will course be number two. Point two, finding carriers. So we'll probably go into a little more detail um, and talk about how to find and vet out good carriers from bad ones, calling the carriers, the scripts, and things like that. So this section here um, will be a little bit more extensive. So all of this will be talked about in another another video. So, but um, that's it for this particular subsection under Dispatcher 101 ebook um, explained. Um, if for those of you who are interested in joining the platform, um, as far as the training portion of the platform, 
to learn how to become um, an independent dispatcher, work from home, uh, simply go to the website www.exodusdispatchingandtraining.com. Once you get there, you'll come to the home page. The um, go over to the training link at the top, and on the sub link, click the join um, training platform, and then you should be able to go from there and and join and sign up. If you go to the website and you try to click any other sublinks under the training page, since you are not a student on the platform yet, you'll be taken to a login screen. You won't be able to access it. So um, there you have it. Um, any other questions about the um, introduction to dispatching, you can also reach us at info at exodusdispatchingandtraining.com, um, as well as um, Exodus Logistics. LLC at yahoo.com or you can reach us on the contact us portion of the website. Put in your um, information and your question and message hits in and we'll get uh, the question there and be able to respond. Um, also too for those who are owner operators and need um, a dispatcher, an independent dispatcher, they will go to the website at www exodusdispatchingandtraining.com and they will go to the dispatching page and go from there and then anyone who needs consulting will go to the consulting page and go from there. Again, this has been Charles Mundy with Exodus Logistics Dispatching and Training and Consulting Platform um, giving you a brief overview of um, Dispatcher 101 ebook explain the first subsection of that which is the introduction to dispatching. Um, hope everything is going well with you guys. Those who are new to the training, good luck to you, and um, hopefully if you apply these basics um, across the board, you should have uh, much success in your endeavors, and I look forward to hearing from you, and happy booking. You guys take it easy. Have a good day.